So here I'm going to type the phone number. I'm going to here type a phone number. And then let's also uh, display something else. Let's display the email address. So below the phone number, I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it below. And then I'm going to display the email address. I'm going to say here email. Email. And then here I'm going to type an email. Next, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to display a few uh, images from customers. And this section is going to be called Instagram. So below this div, below this div, uh, uh, here, specifically here, uh, we want here to create uh, again this, this uh, let me copy this. And this is the end of this. So here, it should be here. Here, let me paste this and then let me close the tag. And then inside, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to display uh, images. First, I'm going to here say h5, and I'm going to again say margin class uh, padding bottom two, and then I'm going to say Instagram. And this section is going to contain images. I'm going to just display a few small images. So here I'm going to say dev. And then these images will be displayed in rows and columns. Therefore, I'm going to create another class called draw. And inside that class, I'm going to create uh, images. I'm going to say image. Here, image. And uh, for the first image, I'm going to say source is equal to and then uh, assets for slash image images for slash footer one dot jpeg however I don't have the image yet therefore I'm gonna keep this uh, like this and then later I'm gonna add the image and I'm gonna give this image a class so the class is gonna be image fluid image fluid and I'm gonna give it width 25 and height 100 and margin 2 margin 2 and I'm gonna copy this image and then I'm gonna paste it many times I'm gonna here copy it and then I'm gonna paste it one two three four so we need like four or five images let's keep it five one two three four five so this is for this section let me save and let me show you how this is gonna look like so if I refresh, as you can see here, we'll have this is the first column, and then this is the second column, the third column, which contains the information, and then the last column, which contains the uh, which contains these small images, small images that are uh, that have been taken by customers. Uh, lastly, I'm going to display the the uh, uh, the copyright section, which is which uh, which uh, normally comes at the at the bottom uh, at the very bottom of the web page. Therefore, here below this, I'm going to create a new div that that's going to display the copyright area. So below this, so below this, below this div, let me show you this. This this div belongs be, belongs to this row. However, this is going to be outside the row. So outside this row, outside here. But inside the footer, we need to create a new div. Here I'm going to say div. And for this div, first I'm going to give it a, a, a class. I'm going to say here class, copy, write. And I'm going to give it a class called MT5, uh, which is margin top 5. Inside the div, I want to create a raw div. And then I'm going to say here class raw and then I'm gonna also give it container container and margin uh, right and left auto and inside that div I want columns I want to display three columns so for the first column I'm gonna say div here div and I'm gonna say class is equal to column large 
three for for large screens it's going to take three columns for medium screens it's going to take uh, six columns for small screens it's going to take small screens it's going to take 12 columns and i'm going to give it also margin bottom four uh, so inside this this uh, first column i'm going to display an image and this image will display the payment um, uh, payment image so I'm gonna say here source and then assets and then images and then I'm gonna say payment payment.jpg again I don't have the image yet but later when I add the image this is gonna look amazing next I'm gonna display uh, I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste it below and then I'm gonna display a uh, the copyright copyright text so instead of image here, I'm going to remove this image. And instead of this image, I'm going to say P for paragraph. And then I'm going to say here, E commerce. And then I'm going to display the copyright. And then finally, uh, let me first save and show you this before we continue. So if I save and refresh, you'll find that here we'll have, here this is the image, it's empty, and then we have this copyright, and here I'm going to display another part that's going to display um, uh, font awesome icons about uh, about uh, social media icons. So be below this, I'm going to copy first, first I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste it below this. However, now I'm going to be using Font Awesome. So for this, I'm going to remove this paragraph and then I'm going to add Font Awesome icons. And these icons will be inside a tag. So I'm going to create the first a tag and the href is going to be hashtag empty, uh, which means empty. And then I'm going to display the, I'm going to display Facebook icon and uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter, all these social media platforms. I'm going to say here class and the the class for Facebook is FAB uh, font awesome B and then FA Facebook Facebook and then I'm going to copy the same exact link and then I'm going to paste it here one and two and uh, let's keep it just simple two one two so the first one is going to display Facebook icon the second one is going to display Instagram and the last one is going to display Twitter. Let me now save and let's head on over to the browser and test. So as you can see now we will have these icons being displayed here. However, I don't want this text to be uh, divided. I want this page, uh, I, I want this text to take, uh, to, to be displayed in one line rather than, rather than two lines. And to do this we can here give this a class called text no wrap this is going to make the text uh, displayed in one line so let me here show you this if i refresh as you can see the text will be displayed in only in in one line it's not going to be divided into uh, two lines and uh, uh, also what we want to do is that we want to give this a margin i'm going to say margin b2 and here margin 4 we are good with this and that's it for this section let me test one more time so I think this section is complete uh, and I'm gonna work on the CSS of this section but before I do this let's work here a little let me here fix a few things first as I told you here we need to add some space and to add some space from the left and right we can here go back to this section to the footer section at the top of the footer and remember, I told you that I'm, I'm going to uh, tell you about a, a, a very important thing about the design, which is the container class. Here for this row, which represents this area, if I give this row a container class, container, and if I give it also margin right and left auto, and if I give it margin top 5, guess what's going to happen? Now if I refresh, the design is going to look amazing. First of all, uh, a space will be added here from the left and also from the right. And also a space will be added at the top because I said here margin top 5. 
and here margin uh, right and left will be auto which means that this section will be displayed uh, in the middle of the screen so this is exactly what happened and now this section uh, now in terms of the CSS in terms of the HTML it's complete and we just need to work on the CSS part of this